Alright, so uh, with regards to geometrical properties of angles, first up we have got complementary angles. Okay, this is how it looks like. Okay, angle A, this is angle B. Guess what? Angle A plus angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so two angles are complementary if the sum of their angles are is equal to 90 degrees, alright? Next up, supplementary angles. Okay, when you have a straight line, and when this is A and this is B, Okay, when angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees, you say that these two angles are supplementary because their sum adds up to 180 degrees. Alright? So, next. Okay. Next, number three would be sum of adjacent angles on a straight line sum of adjacent angles on straight line is equals to 180 degrees okay so you have if you have a straight line okay if you got angle a you got angle B here and you've got angle C. Okay, angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equals to a hundred and eighty degrees. Alright. So for this okay um it, your your reason okay if you ever perform this your reason uh, the abbreviation is ADJ stands for adjacent angles. This stands for angles on straight STR line. Okay, and that's acceptable. Alright, let's go down to the second page. Okay, and then uh, we have we have got angles at a point. Okay. Okay, this is the fourth. Okay, you have. Okay, this A is B, C, and this is D. Okay. If angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D. Okay. Has to be 360 degrees. Okay, so angles at a point at up to 360 degrees 5 okay if you have got two straight lines like that and this is angle A this is angle B okay this is angle C this is angle D okay angle A will be equal to angle C sorry angle A will be equal to angle B and angle C will be equal to angle D okay uh, they are known as vertically opposite angles okay the abbreviation is vert dot op dot angles okay the abbreviation for angles at a point would be equals to angles at a point alright this is abbreviation okay okay next Okay, 
if you have got two parallel lines okay we're talking uh, okay if you got two parallel lines like that okay and you have got a transversal L and this is A B and this is C D okay this is angle A and this is angle B okay we say that angle A is equal to angle B why they are known as corresponding angles alright and uh, the abbreviation is core dot angles okay where A B is parallel to C D okay so take note of this so corresponding angles are equal okay next up number six okay alternate angles are equal so how does alternate angles look like so if you have A and you have B C D where A B is parallel to C D and you have a transversal line L okay okay C is equals to angle D angle C must be equals to angle D okay and these these alternate angles for A B is parallel to C D so this is the reason remember whenever you solve or perform any of the workings you got to write down the reason okay so as to show the marker and this is the reason this is your little tiny statement here okay so this is your statement or reason that shows that you understand what you're actually applying alright so that's for alternate angles alright so last but not least okay number seven okay now interior angles are supplementary okay for example you have got okay two lines a b and c d and you have a transversal l okay and uh, this angle a this angle b okay we say the angle a plus angle b is equal to 180 degrees and uh, the reason is because a and b they are both interior angles where a b is parallel to c d okay so once again this is your little tiny statement that shows the examiner that you understand your stuff okay so this angle and this angle if these two lines are parallel bounded by two parallel lines a angle a and angle b will make up 180 degrees